uh, okay welcome to the the data future channel and uh, here today we are going to see the regularization in machine learning so uh, whenever we come across the different machine learning algorithms and um, there are two terms always comes uh, into the picture that is l1 and l2 regularization okay now uh, basically uh, we will understand the what is the um, the theory behind this uh, so whenever we are choosing any machine learning model so we have to find out the balance between the overfitting and underfitting so the underfitting cons uh, uh, underfitting uh, consent means the model is not learning basically uh, the the error which is occurred because of the uh, simple assumptions uh, that error is called as the bias okay and because of that there may be a chances of underfitting so so it will not gives the uh, better results second thing is the model is overfitting means um, model try to fit each and every point and model is not a general generalized model or it is not flexible so there is a the error which occurs because of the complexity of the model that error is called as the variance now what happens whenever we build a model there may be a that model become a overfitting or model may be a, a, a underfitting or overfitting so what we have to what we have to do we have to find out the sweet spot so what is the sweet spot the sweet spot is nothing but we have to draw a golden line between this overfitting and underfitting so when you try to uh, uh, in uh, reduce the bias there may be chances of increase in the variance so we have to find the values of bias and variance which is optimal so that is the sweet point is called as the balance and that can be uh, done by using a concept called as the regularization okay now whenever we are talking about the machine learning models basic the machine learning models uh, the the models which are parametric one like uh, linear regression and logistic regression they 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 are under underfitting models okay there may be chances of what there is a higher value uh, higher bias second thing is the models which try to uh, try to fit each and every point which is having a greater affinity towards the training data set we can say uh, in that case this model is overfitting uh, here uh, there is there is decision tree or simple neural network uh, these models are having the higher variance okay now uh, what what are the methods of regularization so the met the regularization is the concept is uh, here we we can we can find that sweet spot so we can reduce the bias and increase the variance okay now what are the methods uh, in random forest uh, uh, where we can use a bagging and boosting uh, techniques these are nothing but the regularization technique okay so if decision tree is overfitting means we have to reduce the bi uh, variance and to reduce the variance we are going for the random forest and random forest uses the technique that is bag bagging and there are boosting, boosting uh, algorithms are there also which reduce the variance in deep learning there is a concept of dropout layer is also reduce the overfitting now uh, in, in case of the parametric model the parametric models are models uh, which are uh, which are tends to underfit or we can say these simple models like linear regression uh, so linear regression where we can use the equation uh, like uh, y is equal to mx plus c okay so we can use y is equal to mx plus c this equation is used here where the m is the slope and the uh, c is the coefficient and y is the dependent variable on x is independent variable okay so this 
parametric this is the parametric model because which based on a mathematical equation and in mathematical equation you can find there is a coefficients and the slope okay now there are two types of the regularization techniques which are used in a linear regression one is called as the l2 and l1 or l1 and l2 so l1 is lasso regression and l2 is ridge regression okay so we will see what exactly it is lasso and ridge regression yes so uh, initially when we see uh, a cost function the main aim uh, of uh, using a, a loss function is what so we can we can reduce the difference between the actual value and the predicted value and whenever that uh, we we can take the difference and uh, make make uh, uh, a difference between the actual value and the um, predicted value and when we take a square and make its summation so it becomes uh, the errors okay and that is called as the uh, cost function so our main aim is what uh, the base model which is having a lesser value of these errors or this cost function but uh, practically it is not possible to bring this cost function or the errors uh, errors are zero so we have to find out the optimal value of loss function okay and how to find out that optimal value of loss function by choosing the the proper value of coefficient now for the ridge regressions we are using uh, this additional term that is lambda into slope square okay yes so l2 for ridge regression that is uh, where uh, this is the cost function plus the additional term that is lambda and the slope square so this lambda parameter can be uh, can you can say it and this lambda into slope square this term should be low okay yes so uh, uh, yeah so because of that we can we can reduce the underfitting problem okay so uh, so we have to choose a coefficient such that such that this value must be low and so to choose that this coefficient must be a optimal coefficient we can say okay so in this case uh, the additional term we are using that is lambda into slope square this term so we are penalize the model by using this term okay yeah this next term that is called as the elbert uh, regularization that is lasso so now in this case this is the cost function already we have seen and there is an additional term lambda into slope now in this case instead of using a square it's a absolute value of slope is taken okay this is the cost function and the sinkage of coefficient is, is carried out the important thing we have to understand here is what uh, we have to normalize the data before using a lasso or ridge regression. So whenever we are using a lasso or ridge regression, in that case, we have to normalize the data. So what is normalization? Normalization means we can bring the data or the all the values of the variables and uh, the the features is in between zero to one so we have to normalize so we have to bring the values of all the features in the range of 0 to 1 and that is called as the normalization okay yes uh, now what happens if the slope is steep then there may be a uh, overfitting problem so in ridge regression already we have seen so we are penalizing the feature having the highest slope by using this so uh, we can penalize the model by using this term okay yes so that we can find out the what a golden uh, line or sweet sweet 
point between this bias and variance so basically there are two terms uh, we have seen one is the l1 regularization and l2 regularization l1 is the lasso l2 is the ridge regression these regularization parameters which are used to uh, increase we can say uh, it's we can make this model a best fit model okay so this is about the uh, regularization in machine learning yeah thank you